first open back in 2012. We're live inside the cavernous Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Miami Marlins. It's Marlins baseball, and it's next on the show. Adam Conley is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Marlins. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty D, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Digging in now, Lorenzo Kane. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First offering on its way. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. Guys, this Marlins ball club as they begin play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. Can't ask for better conditions. 83 degrees here at first pitch tonight. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. The 2 1 home. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's 3 and 1 now. The 3 1. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Brinson ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. With that, here's a look at the Brewers' starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, look out for Lorenzo Cain as this game moves along. Coming into this game, he's among the leaders in the NL in stolen bases, so that tells you enough about this guy's speed. But what it also tells you is he does a pretty good job of getting on base. Keep an eye on him if he gets aboard. Digging in the switch hitter, Jonathan Villar. His career numbers with Adam Conley. He's hitting 429. First pitch coming, here it is. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -Roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. The 1-1 one, one home is a fastball Whoa, down man. below the knees. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hit out towards second. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. I appreciate the moxie right there, but three fastballs at this level usually turns into a knock. Domingo Santana. Standing in now, Domingo Santana, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Here it comes, 1 0. Line towards center field. Brinson is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Batting fourth, third baseman, Travis Shaw. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon.
first pitch on its way. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. VR, the runner at first with two gone. Now we'll step off and fire to the bag. A dive, but he's back. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. A swing and a miss at a ball down. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. I have to take pole side out of the equation, or that changeup's going to beat me. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. A runner on first with two away. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Boy, that wasn't a very good pitch there, up and away. That breaking ball, D-roll, that slider intended to be down and away. Instead, it was up and away. Yeah, that was definitely a missed spot right there, Dan. You saw the batter's eyes light up, and he didn't miss it. Into the box now, Jesus Aguilar. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. His career numbers with Adam Conley. He's hitless in three at-bats. Two down, runners at first and second. One and one, the count to the Brewers' first baseman. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning, but if he can start throwing his slider effectively like that, he has a lot better chance of settling into this game. The one two misses ball two pretty standard curve in the dirt looking for a strike out there, but that was a good job of recognizing it and holding back at the plate. Ball three. Three and two now. I don't know why in the world anybody would want to be an umpire. That manager has given this umpire an earful on a pitch that he thought was a strike, and he's certainly trying to defend his pitcher. The three-two pitch. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Brewers strand a couple. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. Eduardo Rodriguez, Venezuelan left-hander, will be the man on the mound. Dan Flezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many walks. He needs to get off to a good start and maybe throw up a zero in the first inning. Gene Segura standing in. it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First delivery to him on the way. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, this team's in the grind part of their schedule right now. Just had a short homestand, able to say hello to the family, kiss the wife, tuck the kids in at night, and they're back on the road again. This should be interesting to see the energy this team plays with today. Now the one and one pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. 
Franklin comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first down. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Hero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Well, Matt, going into this, looking at both lineups, they're both hot right now, and they can both swing the bats. We probably got a slugfest on our hands. What pitcher's going to make the big pitch? A big spot, execute something to get his team off the field. Otherwise, probably a team with the last at bat's going to win this one. Go. First pitch of the at bat. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. The 1 1. Misses inside off the plate. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Count remains 2 and 2. The 2 2. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Lewis Brinson. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Brinson was once a member of the club he matches up against in this one. He came here by way of trade earlier this year. Yeah, Matty, you mentioned he's playing his former club, and that can get tricky sometimes. I don't know if he's going to dinner with these guys after the game or he showed up here with an axe to grind behind 0 and 2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a fastball swung on and missed and the side is retired. And inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on the show. Next to bad Orlando Arcia. He looked to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a breaking ball over the outer half. Takes a good curveball at the knees. The pitch. Hit to short. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. And let's focus on Gene Segura. Very athletic shortstop, has one of the best arms in the position, is really coming into his own offensively as well. Next for Milwaukee, Nick Franklin. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Missed with a slider. <laughs> Takes a knee high fastball.
No score here as we play inning number two. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. The one two is laid off for ball two. Still even at two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. Batting eight, Captain. Bandy. Here's the catcher Jet Bandy. His career numbers with Adam Conley. Not a big sample size 0 for 1. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh and he gets a fastball up in the zone and he hammers it out to deep left field and this baby is gone. A home run. A solo shot here to left seven home runs for him on the year now as the Brewers get on the board first it's one to nothing. Well he was on cruise control just needing one more out to get out of the inning but he came up with a plan base is empty he didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners he just wound up and let her rip a solo shot as the result Not in nine. stepping in now Eduardo Rodriguez as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls in a strike. Wind up and the 0 1. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might go right exactly to the same spot. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. On the board first, thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 1 0 Milwaukee. Here's Starlin Castro, and you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Starlin Castro! Ready. Here's the first offering. And this is taken outside for ball one. The 1 0 home is looked at for ball number two. The count now at two and one. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? VR moving to his left. He's got it one away. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Milwaukee Brewers. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and staff to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Ready now for the Marlins. Richie Mota comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. First delivery to him on the way. 
And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Ball and a strike. A bouncer up the middle. Barcia fields it cleanly. On to first, and there were two down. Got a left fielder. Derek. Up next for Miami, Derek Dietrich. Here comes the first pitch. A high fastball is in there. Two out, nobody on. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Certainly no offer at that one. It's one and two. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. The one two. Rounded down the third baseline. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Miami down in order. They still trail one nothing. In now is Lorenzo Cain as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high change up so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. In tight with the slider, two and two. The two two. Popped high in the air. Anderson is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting. Second baseman. Riding in once Jonathan again, Jonathan VR. A base hit in his first trip. Here comes the first pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's called a ball 1 and 2. Throw it anywhere. 
Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. Gone! Solo shot to right center. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Brewers move out in front now two to nothing. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W on this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. In now, Domingo Santana. Domingo Santana. As he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. One out, nobody on. And he takes a cold strike, too. Don't think for one second, after giving up already one homer, that he doesn't know where this lineup's headed. He's going to have to face the real sluggers right now, and he's going to have to execute. One and two, here it comes. And a fastball just a bit high. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. That was aggressive pitching in that at that. And I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Into the box, Travis Shaw. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. One for one after a single his first time up. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. Another one sent foul. Now here it comes. Fouled off. Another one two a shot down the first baseline and this is going to get past him at first that's a fair ball not in time and he's in there with a double as we look again at that double here you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box smashed it down the line and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Into the box now, Jesus Aguilar. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Maben is there, and that's the third out. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. We play two and a half. It's 2 nothing Milwaukee. Into the box now, Brian Anderson. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, 
six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. That misses two and oh. Now the two oh. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. Yeah. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. The three and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Three balls, two strikes. The 3 2 pitch. Full count still. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Into the corner and slicing foul. Another full count offering on its way. Count still full. 3 and 2. Another full count pitch home. Another foul ball and this battle will continue. Hey I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And that at bat will put a smile on any manager's face. The pitch total of the opposing pitcher just keeps going higher and higher. And he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. Now at the plate, Leo Estrada. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Oh, one pitch on its way. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, now might be a good time to make a visit to the mound. Your pitcher walks the first batter and allows him to get into scoring position with the wild pitch. Got to settle him down and make sure everything's all right physically. Up and in on the hands. It's two balls and a strike. The 2 1 home is taken for strike two. Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Change up swung on and missed for the first down. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Adam Conley, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he fouls this one off. Oh, and one count and the pitch. 
Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Come on, Miami. Now the 2 1. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in on it is Kane, and the Marlins had their first hit of the game. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Beggars can't be choosers right there. Look, we love those long darts. Doesn't matter how they come. Jam off the end of the bat doesn't matter. Stepping in now, Gene Segura. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. And they're runners at the corners now. One and one to the Marlins leadoff hitter. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Runners are at first and third one away. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Again, a one-two. Lifted into center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to two-one now. That was a good controlled swing out of him there, and that's exactly what he was hoping to do. Get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Cameron Maven. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Two out with the man at first. On the ground to third. Shaw has it. Throw on the second for the force and the side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more on this Monday night after this. Digging in for his second at bat. Orlando Arcia comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Right over the middle, knee high. And a fastball just a bit up. Now the one and one pitch is in off the plate. The two one lifted in the air toward the line and right. Maben is there. He's got it one away. Good time now to check out the Marlins road to the show report as you see a couple of players in the upper levels of the minors that have been making waves as of late. Digging in to try it again Nick Franklin hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. First pitch on its way. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Now the 1 0. 
is looked at for the first strike. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Chopped weakly to the left. Estrada ranges to his left. And that's the second out. Now batting. Ready for another chance. Jet Bandy. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked and he turned that thing around and it got out of here in a hurry. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers. They lead it two to one. off the inning Lewis Brinson and they'll need him to get something going here ready to deliver here's the first pitch just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball and that one just missed outside Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2 0. Here go. And here's a slider for a called strike. That's a nasty pitch right there. You got to tip your hat as the hitter. You get a nasty slider like that, there's nothing you can do. Actually, a quality take. Now the 2 1. The count now at two and two. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Takes this the other way to right. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. With that, the Marlins get a good start to the inning with their leadoff man aboard. Hey, guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there. Keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base hit. Here's Starlin Castro. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. After Richie Mota. Stepping up now, Richie Mota. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A little bouncer. But that one rolls foul. The 0 1 pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Fourth inning of a 2 to 1 ball game. And a pitch taken here. It's now 2 and 1 to the Miami backstop. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher.
This one's down to third. Shaw loves it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Marlins down quietly. Our score remains two to one. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Marlins, number 62, Jose Molina. So now the Brewers pitcher, Eduardo Rodriguez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Maven is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. So the lineup flips Lorenzo. over and digging in Lorenzo Kane. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First offering on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. All right, Marley. Oh, and one, here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. The 0 2 delivery. Popped him up. And Castro will put this one away for route number two. The batter, number five, second baseman, Jonathan Villar. Digging in and looking for more, Jonathan Villar. He's off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. This guy's one of the best bunters in the league, but with two outs, I'm not sure that's a really good play right now. He might be forced to go ahead and swing the bat and try to get an extra base hit here with two outs. Now the 2-0. Too high, and it's 3-0. and Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him, good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Digging in once again, Domingo Santana, head-to-head -head with Jose Arena. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. First, and the runner back safely. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Change up in for a strike. VR leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Now a throw over, oh, he's and he's back in standing. And another throw over, oh, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Another throw oh, over, and he'll dive back in. That misses one and one. A veteran hitter certainly knows when he's got wheels on first base, he's probably getting a fastball and he's probably getting it middle away. Might be a great time to get super aggressive. Oh, 
And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Now a move over to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Here now the 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. All right, 3 2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Oh man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. And that brings up the left handed hitting Travis Shaw. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. There's a strike. Popped high in the air. Anderson in foul ground. And that retires the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. In now, Derek Dietrich. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Derek Dietrich. First delivery to him on the way. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batter. Third baseman. Settling in now, Brian Anderson. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. And a fastball just a bit up. And the changeup is way low that time. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Here's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Three and one. It's up to a 3-2 full count now. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there getting away with that hanger. I cannot believe he didn't pull the trigger on that pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Line drive to center field. King is there now and he has it two gone. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Standing in now, Leo Estrada hit the other way out toward right field. And VR will look this one in to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They still trail it here, two to one.
stepping in and ready for another shot, Jesus Aguilar. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. The relay. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Next to bat Orlando Arcia as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And Takes a knee-high fastball. A 1-1. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul for the second strike. The one two is taken for ball two. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. In now, Nick Franklin. And the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. 0. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's a changeup that's right there, 1-1. One and one. Here's the one and one delivery. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Brewer shortstop ahead with a three and one count. Set. Here's the 3 1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Inside, he misses ball four. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Jeff Bandy will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. He flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. First pitch on its way. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. 
boy, the Brewers haven't done much up to this point. They need to get something going, and they need to get it going right now. Comes set with the 0 and 1. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. Two runs, six hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Ready for another shot now, Eduardo Rodriguez. He struck out and flied out, 0 for 2 so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And ooh, looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Behind 0-2 now. Ready with the 0-2. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Brewers strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. JT Realmuto is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Change up that catches the corner for strike one. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. Talk about frustrating as a pitcher. You make a great pitch like that, and the guy just lays off of it. That barely missed the zone. The one two gets him swinging he struck him out. Wow that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit right that good straight changeup El Cambio. There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that arm speed and the ball it just doesn't get there. Gene Segura standing in. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one one and oh zero for one with a run batted in thus far. Come on, and a strike to even the count one and one low scoring game thus far two to one here in the sixth. To short. Garcia has it. And there's out number two. Cameron Maven. Ready once again. Cameron Maven. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The fastball down near the shoe tops. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And that one just missed outside. 
boy he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me his numbers in recent games have been very good and those were two stone cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitters count. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second to his left VR. He'll whip this one to first in time and that ends the inning. Miami down in order. They're down 2-1. Welcome back to South Florida. We're on to the seventh now with the Brewers out on top. If you're joining us late, good time to get caught up as there's our game summary to this point. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Marlins, number 71, Drew Beckham right there. In now is Lorenzo Kane. Hitting off for the Brewers. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a strike. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0 1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Oh one one count. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. The 0 2 home. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Jonathan Villar will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Change up in for a strike. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Now a bunt attempt here, but well, that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch line drive to center field Brinson is there two gone. Now batter, right fielder Domingo Santana. <laughs> Digging in to try it again Domingo Santana oh for two for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Two out, nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. Maben is there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They still lead it two to one. And that'll bring in the multi-dimensional Lewis Brinson. Last time through was a base hit. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. 
only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. No balls in one strike. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a wasted pitch there, 1 and 2. 0 2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. The one two misses for the second ball. It's a swing and a high pop up Aguilar on the move one down. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Starlin Castro. He's flied out and hit into a double play in two at bats. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. They haven't gotten much going against this guy so far in this one. He's been pitching well. And one of the key numbers to look at first pitch strikes over 70% so far in this hour. And there are two away now. How about it? Captain Richie Mota. Ready for another chance. Richie Mota. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First offering on its way. Here we go. And takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here's the 0 1. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Santana moves over, and that retires the side. 1 2 3 go the Marlins. Our score remains 2 to 1. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. But a big pass at a slider that gets past him. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. Now the 0-2 pitch. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Nope. A fastball that just misses inside. Kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Jesus Aguilar will be next. Payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Striding in once again, Jesus Aguilar. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. 
He's set. Here it comes. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire, ball two. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. Now the 2 1. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. The batter number two. Digging in now for the Brewers, Orlando Garcia. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Now this is chopped foul to home plate. It's 0 and 1. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Swings through it for strike number two. I know he's down in the count right now, and it's not looking good, but he's been swinging the bat so well lately. I don't think he minds this one bit. Here's the 0 and 2. And he misses there 1 and 2. Aguilar, base runner at first with one out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number 2. Let's take a look at the sequence here again. The first three pitches, all three down in the zone. So now you've got a guy that's thinking something down around the knees. He's conditioned to kind of look down there. That's when you mix it up and put it by him at the letters. Into the box, Nick Franklin. And the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. No hits to this point. Here it comes, 1-0. And he misses low with it, 2 and 0. Here it comes, 2 and 0. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and they get right back outside. Nice pick. Grounded to third. He'll send it on to Castro at second and the inning is over. Milwaukee leads one. They lead it two to one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Corey Knabel will come on now and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Christian Yelich is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Into the box, Derek Dietrich. First pitch of the at bat. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a liner. But this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first down. Now with the play, Brian Anderson. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. From the stretch, a changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. 
not too often you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1 and 1. Now the one and one pitch runs a bit inside for a ball. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Two two high in the air and drifting out to shallow center coming in on it is Kane makes the play and there are two gone now. Final line there for the Brewers starting pitcher he was on point from the get go this evening. Ready now for the Marlins. Leo Estrada. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Comes the 0-1 and a neck-high fastball that time. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Three and one to the Marlins middle infielder. Here it is on three and one. And it's up to a three two full count now. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Miami down in order. They still trail it here, two to one. Always a party in Miami Beach not too far from us here at Marlins Park set to begin the ninth inning in this one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Brad Ziegler will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. JT Riddle will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 10. Here's the catcher, Jet Bandy. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike.
The wind up and the 0 1. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Line drive to left. Dietrich has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. In is Christian Yelich. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Dietrich is there and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. In now is Lorenzo Kane. He went down on strikes last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ooh, good changeup just missed inside. Line drive to center field and call that a nice clean base hit his first of the game. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. He doubled up on that one Danny back to back change ups nice job by the batter right there staying on that pitch. So that's one of the things that this pitcher will do though Mark his changeup is so good he's not afraid to throw it back to back pitches. Into the box now, Jonathan VR. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now a throw over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Swing and a miss, one and one. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there but you have to find a way there's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Throw over to first and a dive but he's back in. And again a throw keeping particularly close tabs on him. Kane is off of first with two away. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Now the 2 1 pitch down the left field line and deep. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Sent on the ground out to second. Gloved by Castro. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Brewers strand one that they're unable to add to their 2-1 to one lead. Josh Hader comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 71. Josh Hader. Up next from Miami, JT Riddle. You'll get to take his first cuts here. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. Just off the outside, and it's 1 0. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hater has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. The 2 0. A swing and a miss, strike one.
And it misses three and one now. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. And ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Once again, a three two. Fouled off. Another full count pitch home. And this is taken for ball four. So just like that, the tying runs aboard to start the home half. Well, there's only a one run push to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Gene Segura. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a bunt attempt here and good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Here's Cameron Maben now. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. Set and the pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. One out and a runner on second base. Zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Tough slider down low for a strike. Hit out towards second. Played on the backhand. Throw on to first, take care of Maven, and there are two away. So striding in, Lewis Brinson, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Hey, I have no problem with that take right there. Reliever coming in. You haven't seen this guy for a while. Gives yourself a chance to calibrate what he's got. A one count. Here's the pitch. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at one and one. Men on third with two down. Miami down to their last strike. And he struck him out. And the ball game is over as they get the possible tying run over to third, but can't get him across. 
excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. Milwaukee took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Eduardo Rodriguez earns his sixth winning decision in this one as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Adam Conley was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Josh Hader hammers down the save, his 30th. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Klezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.